Hello, everybody. I'm Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. And today I'm going to take you around my food forest and take you on a little tour of my organically grown tomatoes. Picture there is some of the tomatoes that I harvested, I believe it was yesterday, and I put them on my windowsill to let them thoroughly uh, ripen. And some of them I cook when they're almost ripe. I'm excited about my food forest is since I started heavily mulching, putting about four inches of leaves in the uh, garden beds, I don't get weeds. Another thing that helps me combat weeds or deter is because all of my pathways are covered with craft paper. I made a video on it and uh, and then wood chips, free wood chips that I got from woodchipdrop.com. All these little green things that you see on the ground is just what I prune the tomatoes. Now I'm going to prop up my tomatoes. Pardon me, fly, uh, pepper plants. And um, we should be good to go for a couple of weeks. I'm going on vacation, second week of June, and I wanted to make it real easy for the person that's going to be watering and taking care of my food forest. Now, when my tomatoes get like this, I pull, pull them and put them in the windowsill. I no longer let them get all the way ripe, unless I'm just doing it for an experiment. <clears throat> Here is a huge cluster right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. My research and experience has taught me that great, uh, pardon me, great <laughs> tomatoes will not get sweet. Uh, sweeter the longer they stay on the vine. They can ripen and still be sweet in the house. Okay. She's putting on her shoes. Mm hmm. Well, she needs to stop walking out here without no shoes on. I wonder where she got that from. Because her grandmother does it all the time. <laughs> Look at that porch. <coughs> Why are you screaming, Brian? Why are you screaming? Your mom, I like your tomatoes You like today. my tomatoes? What do you like about them? Because they're beautiful. Thank you, Brian. Bye now. Bye now. I still have to do what, baby? A bee? I still have a little more pruning to do. Ants trying to get there? Okay, I'll be right there. Might be some aphids in that area. I've harvested these tomatoes that are on my windowsill all within the last few days. And I don't let them get ripe all the way on the vine unless it's an oversight. Because I don't let the birds get my tomatoes. I start in January planting my seeds inside my home. And then I plant them outside in March. Isn't it a big tomato there? I like to eat my fried green tomatoes when they're not really green. I like them when they're right there in the middle between ripe and green. To me, they taste, they taste a little sweeter. And as you can see from the fried green tomatoes pictured here. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.